Hello, Oracle Dragon Star here with Venus and Pisces love reading. And make sure you check your birth chart. They're free on the internet. If your Venus is in Pisces, it can be Vedic or Tropic. Let's start with your feelings towards your partner. We have Eight of Wands, which is traveling and fast movement. And we have the Star card, which is Destiny, Fate. So maybe you feel like it's Destiny, Fate. to leave or you feel like it's destiny fate for them to leave I'd say it's more you're leaving and it feels like destiny or fate. They feel towards you, Venus and Pisces. Seven of Swords. And that's usually the thief card or someone doing something behind someone's back. And so these two are enjoying each other's company but planning something um, maybe something devious gossiping so maybe their feelings towards you is gossiping about you planning something um, hmm. what are you hiding <clears throat> you are hiding eight of swords which is feeling imprisoned in your own mind like blinded by some type of truth like I mean not seeing the truth that's right in front of your face the feeling trapped in your mind like low vibrations and this guy's like looking at you know this person like might have something so you might be hiding the fact that you feel like you have something or someone that you feel like someone else has something some type of disease or something how they feel about you abandonment third party situ oh no what they're hiding what they're hiding so a third party situation and abandonment being blinded by something that happened and getting really messed up by karma being abandoned so they're hiding either they know about a third party or they're doing a third party and they're abandoning or they're being abandoned or being abandoned by someone How do you feel in the relationship? We have the magician, judgment, and happiness. The sun card. No, oh, three major arcana, so it means big things going on. Manifesting judgment and happiness. And like right here I 
It's like this person wants this person, but is can't. It's like they can't touch them. They're not touching them. And they're hiding behind a mask, not revealing their true selves. This person is revealing their true, more of themselves. Being more open, more real. And so, maybe you feel like you're manifesting like this beauty. And like, haha. You can look, but you can't touch. Manifesting happiness. Hmm. I don't know if that's within yourself or with this person. But up here, it felt like someone was leaving, so. How they feel in a relationship right now is three of swords. Heartbreak, pain, sickness, trapped, barriers, fine walls. Not seeing a way out. Lots of pain. What do you need from them? Six of so six of wands is recognition, victory, winning. So you want some type of victory from this person, some sort of victory. What they need from you, four of pentacles. Maybe to be more selfish, because to me this card is selfishness. Because this person's only paying attention to either both of them or like paying attention to materials. Um, material world, not love. Like either they they want you to be like a doll, open and vulnerable, while they pay attention to finances, or they want the opposite done to them. Which is so strange. Possession. It's like seeing and want, want you to be like an object or see them as like an object. There's a relationship built on. Ace of Pentacles. So a new venture, new project, maybe some type of business deal. Some type of new beginning with the material realm is what started the relationship. Higher purpose of the relationship is redemption, absolute illusion, forgiveness, penance. So, learning forgiveness, um, kind of like innocence and in certain things till you know, you know, until you really know something. Forgiveness for self and other people doesn't mean to like say, but like to where you can release certain things and know that like when people project things on you, it's from hurt from themselves, it's not from you, it's not you. So, not to take things too personal when it comes to that. Even though it can feel like it's an attack on you. Healing your heart. Higher purpose. Healing more of your heart. More compassion for yourself. And others. Okay. Advice from the universe for this relationship and more so like okay, this relationship and uh, relationships around you. Loyalty. I'm there for the people I care about in whatever way they need me. Ride to the airport, no problem. Bail you out of jail, you bet. 
Go see your band again? Maybe. The point is, when I stand with them, I know I'm a part of something special. And to be honest, it doesn't suck to look around and remember they're standing with me too. Hmm. Act. I speak and act with care, remembering that impulsive words or a harsh tone can sometimes hurt others. If it feels like I'm walking on eggshells, I'll remember, remind myself that those eggshells might actually be a shop full of china and I might actually be a bull. Then I'll remind myself to stop mixing metaphors. Compassion. I choose compassion over criticism. Walking a mile in other people's shoes reminds me they might be going through something tougher than I think, like their shoes are too tight, or they're the kind of shoes that are too casual to be dressy and too dressy to be casual. Basically I have no idea what they're dealing with privately, so I cut them some slack and be thankful for the shoes I've been dealt. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I hope that resonated and g or gave you some kind of clarity. If you liked, hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And make your day an awesome day. Bye.